Hello YouTube world, Mac Daddy 19 May one here with the Shade Tree Survivalist. The morning after I received a package from our friend, the King of Metropolis. And here's the gear so far. Um, this morning I took my little uh, ream, uh, excuse me, seam ripper. That's what they call that, that uh, breaks the thread, you know, cuts it out without damaging the material. I took these two bottom grenade pouches off the uh, the LBV-88 that the King of Metropolis sent to me. So they're out of the way. Um, the top mag pouches right here, these here, I can fit an M14 magazine in there. So I've got my 220, or excuse me, my two 10 round magazines in these two. The bottom ones, cannot get a thing in them so far, but I took some of the... Uh, like the camouflage makeup and a few other odds and ends like that and put in these bottom pouches just so they're not poking out so, so uh, heavily on the jacket. Um, as you can see, I've got one canteen now and I've got the two uh, mag pouches, the London Trading Company mag pouches added to the backside. Now, of course, I've got to do something with coloration, but this is fine for now just because i got to work it until I get everything uh, stored the way I want it. Put my uh, K bar back here, and right now I can carry 12 20 round magazines on my gear. So that gives me 240 rounds of 762 times 51, 308. Um, I do not know why on these little straps that support the uh, magazine pouches, one of them has a real wide flat end, as you can see here. And the other one is rounded, as you can see on that one. And they'll go right through the eyelet. So I've got to take a file and file that down so it'll pull up here. And that just keeps it from bulging out so bad. Um, and I do want do want that on the uh, gear. <clears throat> but that's okay for now. Once everything is adjusted, all these straps here will be gone. I mean, I'm not gone. It's, I'm going to cut them. No, no, no. I'm going to roll them up, tape them up. And tape them against the gear so that they don't they're not in the way and they're flopping all over the place that's just not going to cut it um but right now it's still a work in progress early going but man it's i mean it just feels so freaking comfortable i wish i'd have bought this thing something like this years ago but now that i've got it i'm very very happy with it um, now of course the summer heat will tell you know whether it's really hot or not but man, I'll tell you what, I just love the way it, it works out and it feels. Uh, got the camelback bladder into the camelback holder, and of course I decided I forgot to bring it out here with me, but it fits absolutely perfectly for the camelback bladder that I have that is brand new, never even been used yet. Um But uh, so far, I mean it's this is just a wonderful addition to the gear. And of course, we will be adding some camouflage material as time goes by. Um, you just have to wait and see how everything works out. I just, right now, I've got to go to work today. Tomorrow is my day off. And I don't have any big projects planned except working on my gear tomorrow. So hopefully, by Sunday, I'll have another video uh, to update this new gear, the new additions. Once again, I would like to simply say thank you to the King of Metropolis and thank you to all my viewers and my subscribers. Um, I do this for you guys. I do this for myself, of course, too. I enjoy being in, uh, you know, sharing my ideas and so forth. But, you know, knowing that it's helping in some way, shape, or form, that makes it worth it. Um, because a lot of times I really have to juggle my screwed up schedule with my hobby, which is YouTube and uh which hell it's really my passion nowadays so um just knowing that it it helps some folks to the point that they are willing to send me stuff like this to say thank you to me for helping them out in some way shape or form i mean it makes it really worthwhile and um but this is mac daddy 1911 one with the shade tree survivalist thank you very much for watching y'all take care and have a good day